Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Good morning. Uh, we're going to start out talking about the boot. The boot. The boot. Uh, we had another interaction about it. We've sold this boot three times now. Yeah. So we were sitting on the uh, we were sitting on the couch. We were watching Amazing Race. Well, let's give them some backstory about the boot for those okay. that are new. Okay. We picked these up. <laughs> you talking about like it's an old friend? <laughs> it kind of is. Uh, we went to an estate sale, um, kind of like in the fall, you know, this past fall, and um, they had these new Red Wing steel toe boots, and it was half off day, so we picked them up for about forty bucks, I think. And could easily sell them for over a hundred. It had the box and everything, no brainer, right? Um, so <laughs> we get home, and did I notice when I was listing them? No, I noticed. You noticed, yeah. Um, we had two different sizes to make a long. We story. had a fourteen and a thirteen. Yes. So we're like, man, what do we do with this? And we put it on video, and people were like, listed. Um, amputees are always looking for single shoes. So that's what we did. We listed them separately as single shoes. It's in the title. It's in the description. It's very apparent. We're going to show you in just a moment. But yeah, we've sold this boot this twice, is the third time. twice already. Yeah. And um, it we, sold last night. Yes, it sold again. And just based on experience with the boot... We reached out to the um, buyer and, yeah. and made sure that they knew it was one boot. So yeah. Lonnie's going to show you the message here. Yeah, I, I, I wrote this up and I, I read it back to Candace on these kind of messages. I read them back to Candace first to make sure I'm not being like insensitive or, or anything. Sometimes I don't know how it come off, you yeah. know. So I. We keep each other in check. Right. I do. I do that too. Hi, before we ship tomorrow, I just wanted to verify that you understand this is for a single shoe only. And I put this next part because I thought it was, I might kind of be insulting, insulting them by even questioning that because right. it was so obvious. And we're going to show you the title and description, so you will see. Right. Yeah. And, and uh, I know it's kind of silly to ask, but I just wanted to verify for both our sakes. Thanks so much, Lonnie. Guy replies. I sorry. I thought I was getting a pair, and <laughs> I I was like, oh man. And and look, we were when we were on the couch, and I was talking to Candace. I was like, there's no way. I was looking at the listing, and I was like, Candace, there's no well, way. Well, when I saw it sold, I said, Lonnie, we need to message them to make sure they know. He's well, like, he's like, no, surely they see it's in the title and description. I, well, said, I said, message them. <laughs> I did, and yeah. the, the the last time we sold that boot to somebody, same thing. It was a non English speaker, yeah, non native English speaker. They were Chinese, mm -hmm. and so I had a real problem. I was like, I kept on saying, "Please, do you understand that this is a single shoe with them?" The translation was not going through, and they were right like, though. they were like, uh, they they were like, "Yes, go ahead and send it." Also, I'm interested in some other, and I'm like, no. Do you understand that you're only buying one shoe? It is not a pair. And then they would say something they else. They never really answered that they understood. And then finally they said, oh, I thought it was a pair. Yeah. Please cancel. And that, and so th this guy, this time I was like, when the guy answered, he thought it was a pair. I, I mean, I was a little bit exasperated. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you freaking kidding me? But then I like sucked it up. I went back in. No problem. I will cancel and refund. Because at that point, there's no point. As gratifying as it might feel, there's no point in being a jerk. And saying, didn't you read? Or, didn't, yeah. Can't you read, you dummy? You know, I'm yeah. sure they were probably yeah. a little embarrassed already. And, sure. you know. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? There's no point. I'll just cancel, refund. They said, thank you and relist the thing. So we relisted it. And we're going to show you the listing now. And then we got a message about it this morning. Yeah, we got a message. Let's show them the listing. And and they got we got a message. Some somebody offering forty. And again, I messaged them. Now look, I know y'all are thinking like, why are y'all continuing to try and sell this boot? We sold one already. The other boot we sold back in November of last year for fifty bucks, mm -hmm. and no issues, no yep. no problems. Yep. And, and so, when we did actually message him, and they're like, "Yes, I know I'm buying one boot. Thank yeah, you for asking." Yeah. So, um, so yeah. at this point, I told Candace. I told Candace right after this happened, I was like, "We need to just take this thing down and, and donate it." And she was like, "No." 
I'm determined to sell this boot. <laughs> so, um, do you uh, want me to show them the listing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I would have put it up by now. Oh, you're just going to pop it up? Yeah, I'm okay. going to put it up on the screen. Yeah, the, this is the title here. You can clearly see. And then um, we're going to pop up the description here. And you can <laughs> clearly see it states it there also. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I've said before that I think it's overstated how many how many shoppers on eBay, like everyone says, nobody ever reads anything. And I, I push back on that sometimes saying... But it's true. But yeah, there are a certain percentage that don't read or anything. And we've had people tell us you should put the word only in there. Uh, you should put the word replacement. I think it's pretty clear based yeah. on the title and description what's going on here. So I don't know. Um, yeah, we have yet to hear from the offer this morning. Um, verifying that yes, they know it's a single boot. So we'll we'll update y'all hopefully before the end of the video what's going on with the. Boot. I'm about ready to drop. You know, we can always drop the price a little too. Yeah. yeah. Well, they sent an offer, and that would be so. We'll see what happens. We'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about <laughs> to give the boot the boot. Okay. Yesterday, well, we were out. We were out of office for a couple of hours. We brought Pippin to the. the I was vet. like, what did we do yesterday? <laughs> yeah. You don't. You forgot. <laughs> I no. was trying to remember. We brought Pippin in for a checkup, and he's doing good. They checked his sugar. He got his annual vaccinations. He got all. He got poked and prodded and all kind of stuff. It they was, said he's doing good. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna get. I could go into detail. There was some funny Mom, stuff that happened. Just... <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna talk about it. But anyway, uh we listed twenty-three things for four hundred and sixteen dollars yesterday. It was more uh fairly common stuff for the most part yesterday. Mm -hmm. I I will tell y'all though, uh if you watched the video a couple of videos back probably. Um well no, I'm not well, I I'll tell them. Are you talking about the Hot Wheels ID? Yeah. Y'all, he's horrible. He is horrible. He's still in my thunder. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. He said he was not going to look through them, and he yesterday when I was not in here, he did it. Well, I was in here editing the video where the part where you told me not to look through it, and I was like, ooh. And then I, I went over there, and I was like, okay, I'm curious, because there's like potential for $100 plus Hot Wheels in there, and I was yeah. excited. No, I don't get to be excited. And I was excited, and I was like, Okay, I'm just going to pull three of them up to see what they are. And there's, there's a Hot Wheels ID over there. And I found another one. I found that one of the three I pulled up was another $100 mystery machine. It was a Series 2 mystery machine. So there's to, another one. I don't get to say, woohoo! Because there's going to be know. more. There's going to be more. There's, there's a but You have. You, that's the fun part of listing things that you don't know what they're worth is seeing them. Oh, I could kill you. <laughs> what? You could kill me <laughs> for finding a hundred dollar no, he, he is I don't know how to explain to y'all how he is. <laughs> he is the kind of kid on that would go unwrap his presents before Christmas oh, yeah. and then rewrap them. Oh yeah, yeah. Totally. He cannot stand to not know something. I did, oh I did that all the time. When I, I was, know you did. I don't even have to verify with your mom. I know you did. When I was a kid, I would I I would go in the closet and I would rummage around and, and like I would I wouldn't know a good percentage of... It's not of... fun not knowing, like, get, having that surprise. I don't understand. I don't <laughs> understand it. I like being surprised. All right. So I'm the big spoiler, I guess. There's going to be more than that. There might be a couple more. Just because you're saying that, there's not going to be. You know there, that, right? There might be. You just ruined the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> Back and all. Okay, look, we got to get to work. Okay, let's pull some orders. Yeah, we have, uh, we sold some stuff on eBay and some stuff on Macari. So let's get to it. No surprises here. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we're going to start out with eBay. Um, we sold quite a few of the Hot Wheels ID. It's going good. Happy about that. And some of the other stuff, too. First thing we're going to start out with, I'm not even sure where we got this. Six Delta, the head blade. Where did oh. that, is that from the store buy? Did no. Uh-uh. Nope. That is from Garage Sale. Okay. Is this it? Yeah, this is head blade here. I put HB on it. It's got the main unit and some replacement cartridges. Yeah. Right? So here's what happened. All right. I bought, you remember I was at a garage sales, might have been like three, four weeks ago. And there's a box up on a shelf. Oh, I do remember. And I looked, I was kind of glancing. It had $10 on the box. I was kind of glancing through it and it had a couple of, it had like an electric yeah. razor and stuff. And I, I was like, and it was, uh, it was some. A 
box of razor stuff. It was some right? clippers. Yeah. It was some pretty nice clippers, and I looked them up, and I saw they were worth like thirty bucks. Mm -hmm. But then I was like ten dollars for thirty, and I'm like, eh, not really interested in that. And I put the box back up, and the lady said, "I'll I'll do five if you want it." And I'm like, yeah. eh, "I'll do that." And I bought it. Well, this stuff that I didn't even pay attention to was in that box yeah. and it was worth more than the thing that I bought the box mm -hmm. for. Yep, so it sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Yeah. It's it's, it's for it's for people to shave their head that are bald. Yeah, it's like it's a, like it's a palm shaver kind of right. Thing, right? Yeah. So, um we sold in the other Lego advent calendar. It's on one Bravo. Okay. 75184 seven five one eight four got it check 49.99 for that one all right we sold the best hot wells idea I found so far in the flatware drawer this is the unimog it's a mercedes benz oh that is cool yeah it's got oh like, i didn't realize what it was it's got like camo with some um, oh yeah yeah is that that's a real vehicle too i suppose it oh, must if, be if it's, if it's mercedes benz it must be All right um huh. that's all for 129.99 <laughs> yeah. i hope god don't see this <laughs> <laughs> all right one charlie mass effect cerberus normandy ship uh, replica oh yeah this this also came from that recent buy from guy Move this stuff out the way all right, put it here. Playing, it's like playing some kind of a game or something here. All right, this back. Put this back. Here we go. This is what I was doing with these single cars that I've, um, that these car, these single cars that I'm listing. I was gonna put them back in this box. I was like, man, when you put them in and out of this box, these card edges are kind of delicate. I didn't want to like screw them up, you know, and make them look different from the listing photos. Right. So I just put them, I just use one piece of bubble on each one and I put a little post-it note saying what they are. Yeah. I have a couple of locations just like this around. All right, here's Mass Effect thing. This okay. guy was not sealed, uh -huh. but it was clearly never displayed. It still it had- still the inner packaging. Yeah, like the base was still factory wrapped and stuff. Mm -hmm. $54.99 for that. Sold a Hot Wheels road trip and vehicle, Mount Fuji. Um, oh, that's one Bravo, of the ones. Two Bravo. Okay. Uh, it's the Toyota 2000 GT. Okay. Two Bravo? Yeah. Okay, that's right. I had another box right here. Okay. Get to test out my little system here. 2000 GT. All right, cheer. What? Okay. Did you put like all the Mount Fujis are in that box? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. You just no. kind of mixed them up. There's not that many. I think there might have been like out of about 40 cars. No, it's probably like 42 cars. We didn't have complete sets of the road trip and things. Yeah. But out of about uh, 42, 43, uh, somewhere in there, um, I think I listed about 10 cars individually. I use that same rationale you yeah, do like you do I, it's got to be eight dollars and up yeah. or it gets lotted yeah and but after i in the after i pack orders here's the rest of that those cars mm -hmm. so i had about 10 that i listed individually and then i had i think i have 34 that are getting lotted so yeah. it was about 25 percent, maybe a little less it's pretty good yeah ten dollars for that one 9.99 we sold a walmart pin um number 184 Okay. It's been a while. Yep. <laughs> About one a week now, huh? Lately. Yeah. That's good though. I could probably combine them all into one big box. 184. Uh, that is, hey, I'll read it to you. Store 144 Fayetteville. Yes. Okay. 9.99 for that one. All right. What's next? Lego, Darth Vader, one brother. Well, Lego stuff, huh? Man. Yep, I just listed this, I think, yesterday. Man. $49.99 for that one. 
Uh, and then we sold the IBM uh, pencil leads. They're in the razor drawer. Yep. All three boxes, one listing for $67.49. Yep. This this outer box is cool. And then each, each one of these inner boxes has 72 leads in it. And I did count one of them. Uh, and then I weighed the other two on Candace's really accurate scale. And they're all full, new old stock. None of the leads are broken after all these years. It's, it's pretty crazy. Do you even know what this is? I mean, it says electrographic mark sensing. What yeah, is? it's something to do with like, you know how you, you know, scantrons back in the day where you have to bubble in and stuff? Something like that. Where like. The computer had to pick up had to, that lead. Something, yeah, okay. something to do with that. Okay. That, well, that was an awesome find. We still have a lot of pencils left. Yeah, we bought this, and then we bought these two uh, boxes of pencils mm -hmm. for five dollars total for all of it. Yeah, we've sold four pencils so far At for what twelve dollars. Yeah, some of them were a little less than that, yeah. but so four pencils so far for around probably around forty five dollars for the four. Mm -hmm. And then we sold that, so we've gone over a hundred dollars in sales now. Yeah, still got twenty pencils left. Right, awesome find. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was a really good one. Yeah, don't uh, when you're at estate sales, uh, don't forget to look in the office, look around for unusual stuff like Th that. This was actually in a box outside. Yeah, with that it, one. Yeah, but yeah, in general. Stuff. Yeah, that is that is definitely the kind of thing you would find in the office at an estate sale. Okay, so that's all the eBay orders, and then we sold two Hot Wheels ID on Macari. This first one was a, a pretty good one. Uh, it's Hot Wheels Dune Daddy. It's on 5 Charlie number 10. Okay. 5 Charlie number 10. I just love how these store so easy and everything. Pack easy. All that good stuff. Alrighty. Dune Daddy. Got it. $44.99 for that one plus ship. Okay, and we get the whole thing. Yep. That, you probably listed that for 50 on eBay, huh? Yeah, so what I've been doing is when I cross list um, to Macari, I go ahead and deduct the price by 10%. Yeah, so that makes of, sense. Yeah, and even doing that, we've still been getting on these Hot Wheels ID, I get tons of offers every day, and um, I'm just not ready to go down any no. lower than that right now. You know. But even when we sell at 10% less, we're still making more money than eBay because our average fees on eBay are actually a little over 13%. Right, and this is 10% off, and then we're getting the straight money after that. Right. Yeah. The other one that sold is a Lamborghini Centenario. Centenario. It's uh, for Charlie number 19. Okay. yep got it centenario i never even heard of that lamborghini before um that one sold it's from 2016 that one sold for 17 dollars 99 cents plus shipping okay that's not a, everything not a whole lot of stuff on the old bench but some good high do higher I, dollar stuff pretty good sales day yeah let me get let me strap on the uh other gopro and i'll start filming pack Oh, uh, just right after I turned turned the camera off, Candace checked eBay. Yeah. And we got a message back on the new offer we got. The drama of the boot continues. <laughs> so, yes, we uh, got a message this morning. Can you do $40? And Lonnie replied, hi, just wanted to make sure you see that this listing is for one single boot only. And they just replied, ooh, I did not see that. LOL. <laughs> so, yes, the boot still is not sold. <laughs> the boot. Okay, we finally, um, it's after lunch. We're, we're in listing mode now. And we had a little conversation just now. I think it's time, Candace. Yeah, it's time. It's time to do away with it. Yeah. We're going, we're getting rid of it. We're... They probably think we're talking about that boot. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the boot yet. I'm kind of attached. I'm like, I'm emotionally involved in the boot now. Really? I can't get rid of it. <laughs> oh, you can't. The only way you'll get rid of it is to sell it, is what you mean. For now, yeah. Okay. I just have to see what happens with it. I need, gonna... I need to see the rest of its story. Like, does it finally find a home? <laughs> What's going to happen to this boot? <laughs> I told her she should give up, but she's not. She's stubborn. I wanted to find a good home. Okay. 
for fifty dollars, yeah. <laughs> or so, or maybe. No, 30. Um, so what we're talking about is Worth Point. Um, we have found in the last since Terra Peak came out, uh, now going to be called Product Research. We have found that we use Worth Point less and less and less. Well, I, I would like to refine what you said. Since Terra Peak extended the search, the look back to three years. Yeah. That's what's made the difference. The yeah. two to three. The, Before that, the two-year look back was real. It was pretty good, but the three-year look back, like we're finding less and less and less times. And it's like, like Candace said a minute ago, if we end up buying a big lot, like like when we when we were listing Nutcrackers last year. Yes. So the Nutcrackers, I had a lot of Nutcrackers that were rare. Um, couldn't find comps on Terra Peak. So I used Worth Point a lot for those because, um, you know, they were from like the 80s and 90s. Right. And, um, you know, but on a regular monthly average, I think we maybe only use it a couple of times. Now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So I told Lonnie, I said, if we'll cancel it. And if something happens where we buy a big lot of stuff where we um, have, I need Worth Point to really comp things out. Um, then we'll just resubscribe, you know? Yeah. It's just, it's really expensive, and I don't feel like we're definitely not getting our money's worth. Okay. You right. know? Fine. Say no more. I have the screen pulled up right now. It's just, it is too expensive for what we're getting out of it. There was a time when it wasn't, but even then, it's still expensive. It's $29 a month. I really, I, I we, we definitely got value from Worth Point. Yes. But I really feel like, if they made it like fifteen dollars a month, we could justify it. Then we could justify it, and they probably have a. They probably sell so many more subscriptions to offset it at some point. Yeah, but, and the other thing is, um, they have an app that works really well, and I liked that because um, because of it not being on ter um, eBay's app. But with product research coming to eBay's app definitely will be helpful in the who, future. Who, know, who knows how long that's going to be, though? Yeah, I know. So you want me to go ahead and pull it, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's... we don't. We hardly ever use it. Okay, you sure? Let's see if it does another nag screen. No? Canceled. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Good deal. Okay. That was painless. Uh, it's... I don't know. We've been, a, we've been subscribed to them for... Whew, a long time. Yeah. Probably about three years. Yeah. We probably spent like, oh my gosh, we might have spent a thousand dollars with them. Right. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to think about that money. <laughs> we ain't spending it now though. It's yeah. it's over with. Yep. Back off. <laughs> Lonnie keeps trying to peek at my cars, y'all. <laughs> They're cool though. Is that Roger Dodger I, I saw earlier that you're working about to work? Is that worth anything? I don't know. Okay. You did list the. Um, I found another Scooby Doo and I wasn't surprised to find it. Because I Because Lonnie it. already told me it was in there. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, here's another one. <laughs> Maybe there's another one. Let me go look. Let no. <laughs> Back off. Stay on know. your side of the shed. It's like a little scratch ticket. I'm about to go bring them all to my desk. Yeah, we got, a, uh, we got word that we just now talked to Guy. And uh, we we called him. I was just actually I sent him a text, and then he yeah. called. He's a little older than us, so he's not like he's we're, not that much older. He's what a couple years, a little, yeah, like five but years. What you're about to say makes him sound like he's like senior citizen. No, no, no. He acts younger than us, probably, or about the same age as yeah. us. But yeah, because we act so young. <laughs> well, no, I mean the toys and stuff keep him kind of young. I yeah. think I feel yeah. like. But anyways. What are you doing? She's so mad that I peeked. I haven't seen any of... I'm about to take up my desk. You think I'm lying? He's just sneaking over here, y'all. It's, like it's like little lottery scratchers, man. You never know. The next one could be $100. You know? It's fun. Yeah, it's fun for the person that finds it. Okay, well, we need... You don't ever tell me... Whenever, Bull ass. Whenever... Okay. I'm not going to cuss y'all. So, from, from now on... If, and if the camera was not running, she would have. If from now on, whenever you go get a new one, another car, you have to tell me so because so we can both see it at the same time. You want me to every time I pull a car out, tell you what it is? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's, that way I can have fun too. I've been over here doing all the hard work. See, like I had to put this big set together. 
You didn't have to put it together. We picked it up from him together. I know, but I... Everything is already sorted. I'm wrapping it up, and I'm having and to... I did all the work. And I'm having to pre-box it. Uh, oh, I see what's going on now. <laughs> <laughs> he really... Yeah, he does. He gets everything organized for us before we get it. He does. He spoils us. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, but anyway, I was uh, messaging Guy... I was like, yeah, man, we found some good ones. And he happened to have been watching our um, latest video where we're talking about finding the mystery machines. Yeah. And I'm texting him at the same time. And Candace had just listed the second one. Yeah. Which we didn't know about whenever, during the video Guy was watching. Right. And then at that same moment, okay, the guy that Guy is buying from, Guy's Guy. Man, it's getting confusing. <laughs> he, uh, he shows up. While while we're talking to guy and guys like okay I gotta go he's here, so that that guy was showing up to pick up his empty tubs. He has the we're hoping he's gonna refill them. <laughs> he has some really nice uh, yellow and black totes. Uh, totes. We have some of those too, mm -hmm. but he was coming back to pick those empties up. Yeah, and I have a hard time believing he didn't load up some more product to bring with him. Yep. So we're hoping that guy calls back in just a little while. Yeah, we may be skipping garage sales again this week. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> we we really need to go back to garage sales. I know. This stuff ain't gonna last forever. No, we'll, we'll be done. I think. What's today? Wednesday. Yeah. I don't. Maybe not by the end of the week, but um, well, I, we by may the have beginning a beginning of next week. We may have a few scraps left, yeah. but I think we'll be. Yeah, I think by Friday. Depending, it, it kind of depends on how many garage sales we hit Friday. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back out to garage sales and listing all the cool stuff we got at garage. I forgot what we got now. I know. Because we just had to shuck it all away it's in gonna storage. It's going to be like buying it all over again. <laughs> sort of, yeah, except usually when that happens, we're like, why we buy this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're waiting from Guy to hear back if he got some more stuff. So we'll update y'all in tomorrow's video. Yeah. What's going on with that? I, I was messaging Guy to tell him to get to find out if the this guy had some more of these Hot Wheels IDs. Yeah. Because these are awesome. Yeah. I love those. It's like the... Christmas morning for Lonnie. <laughs> it's fun. Stop it. <laughs> you get, you're getting mean about it now. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm ex I'm having fun in the shed. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we'll see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye. Hey, peek. <laughs>